David, how do I purchase and store digital currencies? There are many marketplaces called Bitcoin exchanges, allowing people to buy or sell Bitcoin using different fiat and cryptocurrencies. So Bitstamp is a leading global exchange along with Coinbase and Kraken, while Luna and Valor are two of South Africa's leading exchanges. Uh, security can be a concern. So when buying and storing digital currencies on exchanges in digital wallets, uh, you need to remember that you're susceptible to the security vulnerabilities on that exchange. Storing your Bitcoin off exchange is known as cold storage and can be a lot safer. What is a Bitcoin wallet? So Bitcoins are stored in digital wallets, which exist either in the cloud or on a user's computer or on a cold storage device. The wallet is a kind of virtual bank account that allows users to send or receive Bitcoins, pay for goods or save their money. And what is cold storage? So keeping your Bitcoin in cold storage is often seen as even more secure than a traditional wallet kept on exchange. It involves storing Bitcoin offline that is entirely separate from any internet access and thus substantially reducing the threat of hackers. There are various cold storage methods such as one, paper wallets. So a paper wallet is a way to safeguard against hackers or computer malfunctions and involves printing the public and private keys on paper. Since this paper contains all relevant information needed for spending the coins, its safety is crucially important. Number two is hardware wallets. Storage devices like a USB type storage device are also used to keep the secret keys. So such devices can be kept in a storage facility or deposit box to make sure that they don't fall into the wrong hands. Trezor and Ledger are two of the world's leading cold storage USB devices. Dave, what is DeFi? DeFi is short for Decentralized Finance, an umbrella term for a variety of financial applications in cryptocurrency or blockchain, geared towards disrupting financial intermediaries. Most applications that call themselves DeFi are built on top of Ethereum, which sets itself apart from the Bitcoin platform in that it's easier to use to build other types of decentralized applications beyond simple transactions. It's important to note here that cryptocurrencies are not all competing against each other. Although there are some that are, many are completely different. The most popular types of DeFi applications include one, decentralized exchanges, DEXs. These are online exchanges helping users exchange currencies for other currencies, whether it's US dollars for Bitcoin or Ether for Litecoin, DEXs are a type of exchange which connects users directly so they can trade cryptocurrencies with one another without trusting an intermediary with their money. Two, uh, stablecoins. So a stablecoin is a cryptocurrency that's tied to an asset outside of cryptocurrency. Let's call it the dollar or euro, for example, to stabilize the price. Number three, lending platforms. These platforms use smart contracts to replace intermediaries such as banks that manage lending in the middle. Number four, prediction markets. Markets for betting on the outcome of future events such as elections. The goal of DeFi versions of prediction markets is to offer the same functionality but without intermediaries. Number five is wrapped bitcoins, a way of sending bitcoin to the Ethereum network so that bitcoin can be used directly in Ethereum's DeFi system. This allows users to earn interest on bitcoin while they lend out on decentralized platforms described above. There are many DeFi concepts that continue to spring up and disrupt traditional financial markets.